good morning ah today is another travel day partly because today we finally leave Graz again I mean look at that Graz is pretty yes I mean especially the Herz Jesu Kirche love it but I haven't left Graz for a long time and now finally finally we're doing that again there's an event in Hungary in Gjör the ultimate European championship well the European championship in ultimate for me that's the ultimate championship anyway there are three Austrian teams playing open mixed and women and I'm gonna cheer for them while I volunteer such that I have shit to do should be fun I mean it can't be as much fun as volunteering in London at Worlds but it is still gonna be great I think I hope okay there's team registration there's fan registration nice volunteer registration sweet I have a scorekeeper shirt and I'm officially accredited so I can go in there so many shirts but nobody knows where I need to, to go pretty chaotic great I found other scorekeepers I think I'm safe now exactly and then ask Done. like to live stream it just for kids I'm supposed to carry a flag it all seems a bit unorganized but <laughs> YOLO Austria is represented, they're playing the opening game. They didn't want to give me the Austrian flag, but hey, Norway is cool as well. I don't need to go first then, that's good, because Austria is always first. <laughs> This is all planned out so well, so well. It, it, love it, love it. <laughs> Go AUT! Well, now look at that. There are lots of fields. 12 to be exact. And we are 17 scorekeepers. 17. This is gonna be a lot of work for me. Well, okay. it's a pretty close game. My goal is to get to know many people from many different countries. I mean, that's what I'm here for, really. I hope I have time for that. For now, I still have time, so I started talking to the Norwegian people because I was carrying their flags. And so I had a reason to talk to them. Um, I mean, yes, I'm here to watch Ultimate. Of course, I'm here to watch Ultimate and also support AUT. Uh, but I don't just want to hang out with the AUT guys because I can do that in Austria. Uh, it's fun. I actually know people from the GB team. From women's, I know three people. And I know Bailey, uh, who's also here playing mixed. Uh, she was in uh, Bristol when... She, no, actually, she was abroad while I was playing for Mythigo. Uh, but I, I, I saw her once and then I was like, I know that face and so I talked to her and yeah, now I know why. <laughs> now I'll go to the other side with the visitors. Because I have a few people I'll get now here. A U T. A U T. I'm not sure if Hungarian tap water is safe to drink. And it's very important to stay hydrated. And also I won the first game at the EUC. Alright, so the scorekeepers meeting will be in two hours which means I have 
two hours to do literally nothing. I don't really have a place to go to, to chill. Like, feeling wise, Worlds in London was so much better. We had a volunteers area with snacks and everything. And here, I don't even know where the meeting is. It's all a bit, a bit chaotic. Also, the people, uh, they want to buy stuff, but for that they need to exchange their money to Hugo's and uh, nobody is selling Hugo's. It's all a bit chaotic in my opinion, but you know, I think I'm gonna find myself a place in the shade because I only slept for four hours tonight, so I need to catch up on some sleep. Comfortable, something different, but... One way to keep your things safe is to lock them away. Another way is to hide them. <laughs> now, for that meeting. Alright, that was a uh, meeting. Uh, this is like you know, a bit still. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Let's check out our accommodation. I don't even know where I live yet. Okay. We'll see. So you need to pay in Hungary and foreign cash, I guess. Yeah. Order tickets, okay. Right, so apparently we also need to pay in Hungarian money to go to the accommodation. And I have no idea. Well, anyway, I just follow the people. Oh, it's such a nice day for a walk through Hungary on the streets. It doesn't go into Europe. I don't know if I should find that sad or funny. At the moment, I find it funny. At that point where it starts to annoy me, I will find it sad again. But for now, I just find it ridiculous how, how not it is planned, how it is not well planned or planned at all. I don't know. Uh, no, there is at least a bus that's good in 54 minutes. Oh, guys, there is a truck here. 54 uh, minutes. We don't have to wait 54. We can take from that bus stop. We can take... Oh, Which bus stop? Uh, is he pointing to? That one. You just walk oh, another 10 meters and then you... Oh, such a long walk. <laughs> Imagine the bus driver. Fuck no, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got a bus driver. Way, big bus. Yes. What a nice bus driver. Sightseeing. <laughs> The rest we need to walk. <laughs> ah, isn't that great? I love it. I love it how 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 we did. And now we will just be too late for dinner, I think. Hello. Hello. Good to be out of Graz once again. It doesn't matter how how fucked up I am and how fucked up everything else is. I I'm so sleep deprived that I'm currently having a really good time. Oh. Yes! Five, oh! Eight, seven! Six! Oh, five! Okay, wait a thing! As long as we don't lose the group, everything is fine. Yeah, I mean, it is a really nice sightseeing tour here. Because I need, I need it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah college that we're in is apparently very fucked up. We will see. Hot, not very nice. Oh yeah, it's gonna oh, be hot. Oh, it's gonna fuck. be hot. It's gonna be hot. Either you die of the heat, either you die of the mugs. Your choice. Yeah. Mosquitoes will kill you or the heat will kill you. It's your choice how you want to die. How comfortable is the bed? Your sl it's actually not that bad. Uh, yeah, not that. Uh, not that bad for Hungary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Dinner first. Priorities. <laughs> Definitely I priorities. <laughs> I mean, that looks so bad. Looks like not a lot, but it's not so bad. Unless there's maybe. At least they're nice and give me like a second portion and then a third. <laughs> and then a share. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> so, there are 21 free beds. We have 20 more people with the uh, Ukrainian ultimate team. So, I don't know who planned this, but apparently nobody told them how many people of us there will be here. They will figure it out. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I won't be able to sleep here. <laughs> I mean, I heard that the beds are shit anyway, so <laughs> we'll see. All right, I think I have a room now. 
but not with my scorekeeper uh, volunteer friends, but with the Hungarians, the Hungarian volunteers who probably don't speak English. Anyway, we're gonna figure it out because that's what we always do here in Hungary. <laughs> After waiting for two hours and have nothing happening, at that point I'm getting tired. But it's still okay. I'm still in my sleep deprivation that I'm like. Whatever. Practically, this would be eight. Well, a bed. It's a bed. Oh fuck! Is this ungemütlich? Turns out I'm not in the room with Hungarian volunteers. I'm with the guys from Alti World, like commentators and stuff. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Whatever. Let's take a shower. And I have the room to myself. Shower was good. Yes. Now they all went drinking. I think I'm gonna just go to sleep. Now I can even turn the lights off and have all the mosquitoes in here. Okay, I mean I tried to sleep if I was bitten, but not by flying things, I would have heard them. And I was like, ouch, what bit me? I opened my eyes, something crawling away. And all over my bed, I found those crawly things that I don't see anymore now. Because they are red on red. But on my... Yeah, here. They were, those are like all over my stuff. All over my bed. All over, literally everywhere. And that's what they expect me to sleep on. Fuck them, whoever they are. This is gross. It's only midnight. We can, we have time to figure stuff out, right? Ha ha ha, the day is not over. Um, this is interesting. Um, I don't know what bed bugs are. Um, because usually I don't encounter them because I have uh, hygiene standards and shit. Anyway, um, everybody seems to be freaking out about that and they want to leave the room and uh, uh, told me to take a shower and uh, change my clothes. Actually, I should f just fucking burn my clothes the way they react. Um, so the clothes I slept in, I, or slept in, I, li I lay there for like what, 10 minutes maybe, until I got attacked. Um, yeah, and uh, they, only t they told me to take a shower, which I'm gonna do now and change clothes again. However, my clothes were somewhere near that bed and they, they are completely freaking out because oh my, my clothes were lying on the bed and uh, apparently those things spread like wildfire. So, yeah, might be that I have them all over my clothes now as well, which uh, sounds a bit gross. Um, and the clothes are okay because that I can wash, but I might have it all over my backpack. And that would not be so cool because I do not want to import them to my flat. I shall take a shower now and then we will see how the day proceeds. And another nice shower. Alright, our room <laughs> is leaving the premise. Interesting, interesting, interesting. <laughs> Do you know who really you felt the bugs crawling over them? The guy who actually <laughs> felt the bugs <laughs> crawling over them. New location! <laughs> Student hostel. Let's see if that's any better. Whoa, that looks like a luxury apartment compared to the other place. <laughs> Look how clean this bed is. And it have sockets for my shit. It's great. So much better here. Great five hours left to sleep and this time I hope that for real this is the end of the vlog good night <laughs> fucking hell make a backup don't get bad bugs this is weird everybody's freaking out about them which makes me freak out about them but actually I'm like whatever <laughs>